ten ways to say hello and goodbye. Hello. Hi. Hey. Hi there. Howdy. Bye. Bye bye. See you later. Take care. Have a good one. Ten informal ways to say yes and no. Yeah. Yup. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Sure. Nope. Nah. Mm mm. Uh uh. No way. Ten ways to ask how someone is. How are you? How's it going? How you doing? How are things? How's life? How have you been? How's your family? What's up? What's new? What have you been up to lately? Ten ways to say how you are. I'm fine, thanks. How about you? Pretty good. Not bad. Great. Couldn't be better. Can't complain. I've been busy. Same as always. Not so great. Could be better. Ten ways to say thank you. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much. Thanks a million. Thanks for your help. Thanks for helping me. I really appreciate it. I'm really grateful. That's so kind of you. I can't thank you enough. I owe you one. Five phrases for apologizing. I'm sorry that. I'm sorry that I was so rude yesterday. It's my fault. Oops, sorry. I should have. I should have called you and told you I'd be late. I apologize for. I apologize for the delay. Ten ways to respond to thank you. You're welcome. No problem. No worries. Don't mention it. My pleasure. Any time. It was the least I could do. Glad to help. Sure. Thank you. Ten phrases for introductions. I just wanted to introduce myself. I'm Shana. I don't think we've met before. My name's Shana. This is. I'd like you to meet. Have you met? I'd like to introduce you to. Nice to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you. Likewise. And you. Five ways to respond to an apology. That's okay. It happens. No problem. Don't worry about it. I forgive you. Six ways to show interest. Really? That's interesting. Uh huh. Right. Gotcha. Sure. Five ways to end a conversation politely. It was nice chatting with you. Well, it's getting late. Anyway, I should get going. Sorry, but I'm afraid I need to. I'm sorry to cut you off, but I actually got to run. Ten phrases for telephone calls. Hi, this is Jane. May I speak with John Smith? Is John there? I'm calling about. I'm returning your call. 
One moment, please. Hang on a sec. He's not here. Would you like to leave a message? Could you ask him to call me back? Thanks for calling. Ten phrases for asking for information. Can you tell me? Could you tell me? I'd like to know. Do you know? Do you have any idea? Could anyone tell me? Would you happen to know? I don't suppose you would know. I was wondering. I'm calling to find out. Five ways to say I don't know. I have no idea. I have no clue. I can't help you there. Beats me. I'm not really sure. I've been wondering that too. Ten phrases for asking for someone's opinion and giving your opinion. What do you think about? How do you feel about? What's your opinion of? What are your views on? In my opinion, I'd say. Personally, I think. Personally, I believe. If you ask me. The way I see it. From my point of view. Ten phrases for agreeing. Exactly. Absolutely. That's so true. That's for sure. I agree a hundred percent. I couldn't agree with you more. That's exactly what I think. That's exactly how I feel. Tell me about it. You're telling me. I'll say. I suppose so. Ten phrases for disagreeing. I don't think so. I beg to differ. I'm afraid I don't agree. I'm not so sure about that. That's not how I see it. Not necessarily. Yes, but. On the contrary. No way. I totally disagree. Ten phrases for invitations. Are you free Saturday night? Are you doing anything Saturday night? Let me check my calendar. Do you want to see a movie? Would you like to join me for dinner? I'd love to. Sounds great. I'd love to, but I have another commitment. I don't think I can. Maybe another time. Five phrases for responding to bad news. Oh no. That's terrible. Poor you. I'm so sorry to hear that. I'm sorry for your loss. Five phrases for responding to good news. Congratulations. That's great. How wonderful. Awesome. I'm so happy for you. Six phrases for talking about future plans. I'm going to. I'm planning to. I hope to. I'd like to. I might. I may. I'm thinking about. Ten ways to talk about likes and dislikes. I love soccer. I'm really into soccer. 
I live for soccer. Soccer is my thing. I'm crazy about soccer. I'm not a huge fan of modern art. Modern art isn't my cup of tea. I don't really care for modern art. I'm not into modern art. I can't stand modern art. Five ways to make and respond to an offer. Would you like a drink? Do you want some water? Can I get you something to eat? That'd be great, thanks. No thanks, I'm okay. Ten phrases for asking or talking about jobs. Where do you work? What do you do? What do you do for a living? I work at Microsoft. I'm an accountant. I'm unemployed. I'm between jobs at the moment. I'm looking for work. I'm a stay at home mom. I'm a stay at home dad. I run my own business. I'm a freelance writer. I'm retired. Five ways to make a suggestion. How about how about trying something new? Why don't you? Why don't you talk to your boss? Maybe we should. Maybe we should do more research. I'd recommend. I'd recommend going to the doctor. Have you thought about? Have you thought about buying a new computer? Ten phrases for describing relationships. I'm single. I have a boyfriend. I have a girlfriend. We're engaged. We're getting married in June. I'm married. I've been married for ten years. I'm divorced. I'm widowed. I'm not looking for anything serious. I'm not quite over my ex. Five ways to ask for clarification. Pardon? Would you mind repeating that? What do you mean? I'm not sure I follow you. Could you explain? Five ways to ask for help. I need a little help. Could you help me out? Could you give me a hand? Could you spare a couple minutes? Could you do me a favor? Five ways to check if the other person understands you. Do you understand what I'm saying? Does that make sense? Do you know what I mean? Are you with me so far? Is that clear? Five ways to ask someone else to do something. Would you mind opening the window? Could you please turn off the lights? Can you pass me the chicken? Please send me the information. I'd appreciate it if you could wash the dishes. Ten ways to encourage someone. Keep up the good work. That was a nice try. That's a real improvement. You're on the right track. You've almost got it. You're doing great. Don't give up. Hang in there. You can do it. 
Give it your best shot. Nice job. You did great. Five ways to interrupt someone. Sorry to interrupt, but... Excuse me, could I talk to you for a minute? Excuse me, do you have a minute? Could I jump in here? Sorry, I just want to say that... May I have a word? Five phrases for complaining. I'm not happy about this. I'm sorry, but this is unacceptable. I'm not very satisfied with... I can't stand it when... This sucks. Ten phrases for remembering, reminding, and forgetting. I'll always remember. I'll never forget. If I remember correctly. As far as I can recall. I have a vague recollection of. It's on the tip of my tongue. My mind went blank. It doesn't ring a bell. Please remember to. Please don't forget to. I'd like to remind you about. You haven't forgotten to, have you? It completely slipped my mind. Ten expressions about age. She's in her early twenties. He's in his late thirties. She just turned six. Act your age. I'm not as young as I used to be. I'm not over the hill yet. He's no spring chicken. She's wise beyond her years. I'm having a senior moment. He lived to a ripe old age. Ten phrases for saying something is easy and difficult. It's a piece of cake. It's a cinch. It's a breeze. Anyone can do it. There's nothing to it. It's hard. It's a bit tricky. It's really tough. It's not a walk in the park. It's very demanding. Ten phrases for talking about food. I'm starving. Let's grab a bite to eat. How about eating out tonight? I brought some snacks. This soup is delicious. Could I have another helping of potatoes? I'll have... Could we get the check, please? I'm full. I'm stuffed. Ten phrases for shopping. Do you have... Where can I find... I'm just browsing. I'm looking for... How much is this? Is this on sale? Can I try it on? I'll take it. Do you take credit cards? I'd like to return this. I'd like to exchange this. Ten phrases you'll hear in the airport. Do you have any bags to check? Would you like a window seat or an aisle seat? Here's your boarding pass. Your flight leaves from gate 15. Your seat number is 8F. 
Flight 800 is now boarding. Your flight has been delayed. Your flight has been canceled. This is the final call for Flight 800. What is the purpose of your trip? 10 phrases for talking about TV. Where's the remote? Is there anything good on? Can I change the channel? I've already seen this episode. This is a rerun. I love this show. There are too many commercials. Stop channel surfing. Check the TV guide. It's the season finale. Ten ways to talk about price. It cost a fortune. It cost an arm and a leg. That's a rip-off. I can't afford it. That's a bit pricey. That's quite reasonable. It's 20% off. That's a good deal. It was a real bargain. It was dirt cheap. Five phrases for cold weather. It's a little chilly. It's freezing. The temperature's dropping. Make sure to bundle up. We're expecting some winter weather. Five phrases for hot weather. It's nice and warm today. It's absolutely boiling. We're having a real heat wave. The sun's really strong today. It's hot and humid. Five phrases for talking about rain. It's drizzling. It's pouring. It's raining cats and dogs. I got caught in a downpour. I think the rain's letting up. Ten excuses for being late. Sorry I'm late. I overslept. My alarm didn't go off. I had to wait ages for a bus. The bus was late. The traffic was terrible. I couldn't find a parking spot. I got lost coming here. I was tied up in a meeting. I just lost track of time. Five phrases for promises and resolutions. I really should. I promise that I'll. I swear I'll. I swear I won't. No matter what happens, I'm going to. Come hell or high water, I'll. Ten ways to say you're tired. I'm exhausted. I'm dead tired. I'm pooped. I'm spent. I'm beat. I'm running on fumes. I'm running on empty. I can hardly keep my eyes open. I'm off to bed. I'm going to hit the sack. It's bedtime for me. Five ways to say someone is correct. That's right. That's spot on. You've hit the nail on the head. You've nailed it. 
I suppose so. I'm afraid you're right. Five ways to say someone is smart. He's really sharp. She's brilliant. He's very bright. She's a genius. He's a smart cookie. Five ways to say someone is wrong. I'm afraid that's not quite right. I'm afraid you're mistaken. No, you've got it wrong. No, that's all wrong. Baloney. Bullshit. Ten ways to avoid answering a question. No comment. I'm not at liberty to say. Wait and see. Let me get back to you. I'm sorry, that's confidential. I'm sorry, that's personal. I'd rather not talk about it. It's none of your business. Mind your own business. Why do you want to know? Five ways to say someone is stupid. He's not the sharpest tool in the shed. She's a few cards short of a deck. He's a bit slow. She's a complete idiot. He's really dumb. Fifteen phrases for being rich and poor. He's short on cash. He's broke. His bank account is overdrawn. He's just scraping by. He makes minimum wage. He's pinching pennies. He's scrimping and saving. She's very wealthy. She's quite well off. She's loaded. She's filthy rich. She inherited a fortune. She's making a killing. She's raking in the cash. She's rolling in dough. Ten phrases for talking about statistics. The crime rate rose. The crime rate went up. There was a sharp increase in crime. There was a gradual rise in crime. There was a spike in crime. The crime rate reached its peak. The crime rate plateaued. There was a slight decrease in crime. The crime rate dropped. The crime rate plummeted. Ten ways to say someone's talented. She was born to dance. He's a natural. She could do it in her sleep. He knows it inside out. She knows New York like the back of her hand. She's a walking encyclopedia of philosophy. He's in a class of his own. He's the best in the business. She's very gifted. He's a chemistry whiz. Ten phrases for telling someone to wait. Could you give me a minute? Hang on a sec. Just a sec. Hold on. Let me see. Let me think. I'll be right with you. Bear with me. That'll have to wait. Wait and see. 
Not so fast. Hold your horses. Ten phrases for decisions. I'm debating between. I can't make up my mind. I'm on the fence. I'll take that into consideration. On the other hand, I'm having second thoughts. I changed my mind. He convinced me to. He persuaded me to. Looking back, I know it was the right decision. It's up to you. Ten phrases for estimating and guessing. If I had to take a guess, I'd say she's about thirty-five years old. It's difficult to say, but I think our customers are more satisfied. Off the top of my head, I'd say the company has five hundred employees. It's about ten miles away. It's around three hours long. I wouldn't be surprised if Peter asks Jill to marry him. There's a good chance it'll rain tomorrow. I have a feeling the boss won't be happy about this. I bet he'll be late. Your guess is as good as mine. Ten phrases for good luck and bad luck. Good luck. Better luck next time. Just my luck. Lucky you. That was a stroke of luck. Some people have all the luck. As luck would have it, he's down on his luck. No such luck. What rotten luck! Ten phrases for worries and relief. I'm scared that. I can't help thinking that. It's been keeping me up at night. What if? Phew. Thank goodness. What a relief. You had me worried for a moment. You have no idea what a relief it is. That's a huge load off my mind. Ten phrases for compliments. You look nice. You look amazing. What a beautiful necklace! I like your shirt. The lasagna is delicious. You're a fantastic cook. My compliments to the chef. What a nice apartment! You have a beautiful home. He's so cute. Your kids are a lot of fun. Ten phrases for talking about the future. It'll happen any day now. It's right around the corner. In the near future. It will or won't happen in our lifetime. It's a sign. Or taste of things to come. I'm counting down the days until. Sooner or later. It's bound to happen eventually. I'll get around to it. I'll do it right away. I'll get right on it. Time will tell. Fifteen phrases for certainty and probability. I'm absolutely sure. 
I'm positive that. I have no doubt that. I'm a hundred percent certain. I'm convinced that. Chances are that. Odds are that. I seriously doubt it. I don't think so. Probably not. It's not very likely. There's not much chance of that. I'd be very surprised if that happened. I wouldn't bet on it. That'll never happen. Ten ways to say something is interesting or boring. It's fascinating. It's intriguing. I couldn't tear myself away. I couldn't put it down. I was so into it I lost track of time. It does nothing for me. I was bored to tears. I was bored to death. I was dying of boredom. It's about as exciting as watching paint dry. Ten phrases for cheering someone up. What's the matter? What's wrong? Are you all right? You look a bit down. Is there anything I can do to help? Cheer up. Chin up. It's not so bad. Everything will be okay. Look on the bright side. It's not the end of the world. Seven phrases for disappointment. What a pity. What a shame. How disappointing. That's too bad. Bummer. It was a real letdown. It didn't live up to my expectations. Ten expressions for bad people. He's a creep. He's a pervert. He's a sicko. He's a scumbag. He's an asshole. He's a jerk. He's a bastard. She's a bitch. She's a psycho. She's a slut. Ten ways to say you don't believe someone. Yeah, right. You're kidding. You're pulling my leg. That's a bit of an exaggeration. He's stretching the truth. He's not telling the whole truth. She's being economical with the truth. His story is fishy. That's an outright lie. That's a pack of lies. Ten words for describing speaking. He yelled. She screamed. I whispered. We chatted. He mumbled. My kids whined. He rambled. He went on and on. She stammered. I snapped at my husband. He muttered. Ten phrases for facial expressions. She was beaming. The kids were smiling from ear to ear. He looked puzzled. She grinned. He winced when the doctor gave him an injection. 
She gave me a dirty look. She blushed. His eyes were glazed over. Why the long face? Her expression was unreadable. Ten phrases for bad travel experiences. My flight was overbooked. My flight was delayed. My flight was canceled. My luggage was lost. I was jet lagged. My hotel was in a seedy area. I was mugged. The weather was miserable. I got the runs. The place was a tourist trap. I couldn't wait to get back home. Ten phrases to describe offending or upsetting people. They got off on the wrong foot. He got on the teacher's bad side. She took offense at his comment. He has a chip on his shoulder. She got bent out of shape. He left in a huff. She got her panties in a wad. He has a short fuse. She dissed my mother. He got his nose out of joint. Ten phrases for drinking alcohol. It's on me. I'd like to make a toast. Here's to your health. Another round of drinks, please. Put it on my tab. He's a bit tipsy. He's completely sloshed. He's completely wasted. He's completely plastered. She's trying to drown her sorrows. I'm the designated driver. I had a hangover. I was hung over. Fifteen comparative idioms. It's as light as a feather. It's as dry as a bone. It's as flat as a pancake. He's as mad as a hornet. It's as old as the hills. It's as quick as lightning. She's as sick as a dog. He's as strong as an ox. They're as different as night and day. She's as stubborn as a mule. He's as proud as a peacock. She's as white as a sheet. It's as solid as a rock. It's as good as new. It's as clear as mud.